Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey Houston, we got no problems. Today we want to talk now about the deep ocean basins. So what happens at the depths of the ocean, at the bottom? Well, some really cool, interesting features. Not only there are like living things, we'll talk about that later, but we're talking about the features, like mountains and junk like that, underneath the oceans. So there's a bunch of different things we're talking about, so let's just do the first one. The first one are the trenches. Again, when we talk about this, the, the Challenger Deep discovered, or the, the, the HMS Challenger discovered the Challenger Deep, and they've discovered these crazy deep trenches. And we've already talked about this to some degree. These are going to be at a converging ocean-ocean uh, boundaries. Some really amazing things when we go down deep. And when they go down there, we find some amazing things. They actually find living things down at the bottom of the depths of the parts. We, we just don't understand why that is. And, and of course, what's causing this? The cause is that you've got the denser plate subducting underneath the lower plate. Make sure you write that down in your notes. The second sort of feature we see is this, is the abyssal plains. This is the flat part of the under, yeah, it's flat. So for vast regions of the, of the ocean, it's just flat. Now, it's flat, but it does have sediments on top of it. Sandy dirt. Now, we've got a whole section on sediments coming up later, so we'll get there later. But it's just the flat parts of the ocean. So lots of those exist. Um, by the way, they, they're found that the abyssal plains are, I should make a note here, they're underwater. They're found at depths between 9,800 feet to 20,000 feet. They're flat, but they're going to be at different uh, feet. By the way, in kilometers, that's 3,000. It's 3 to 6,000 meters. So we've got these flat parts, and they can have anywhere between. So they're deep, 10,000 feet down, right? Uh, 3,000 meters is kind of the minimum. And then they can be even deeper. So these are the deep parts of the Earth. And the question is, you might ask, is why are these so flat? The reason they're flat is because over time, the sediments that have come from the continents, right, from rivers and mass wasting and all that stuff that we've talked about, um, they're spreading out. There's all kinds of currents in the ocean that's moving things around. And then over time, it could be centuries, they settle. In fact, speaking of how long that they do that, I have it, I guess it comes up in a later video. It talks about how long it takes, something like 50,000 years for certain, like centimeters. But over years, that sediment settles to the bottom of, of the ocean. And it turns out, if you look around the, the oceans, that the Atlantic has the most abyssal plains. And then you might say, why is that? Because remember, what's causing this is the buildup of sediment. And the, the Atlantic Ocean doesn't have any trenches. There, there's no converging plate-plate boundaries. Because what happens with the trench, if you think about it, it's like the hole that can collect more sediments. And there's no place for that. So you get the flat regions in the Atlantic Ocean because it doesn't have, probably no is an overstatement, but very few uh, trenches. And without the trenches, you're not going to get a place to collect the sediment. So that's why you find the most abyssal plains in the Atlantic Ocean. The next one is a seamount. Kind of a cool term. Essentially what this is, of course, is this is a submarine volcano. Now, underwater volcano. You know how many under, little underwater volcanoes there are? A million. A million? A million! Yeah! A million underwater volcanoes. I think it's pretty awesome. And these are all over the planet. You can find all these little submarine volcanoes. And so they rise up. But they never make it. Well, they don't always. They don't always make it up to the surface. And so underneath the ocean, you can find a seamount. I think seamounts are pretty cool. Some seamounts do make it to the surface of the earth, and of course, one example would be the Hawaiian Islands. Ooh, you've been to Hawaii on the beach? <sighs> Get that tan, right? Um, also, the Aleutian Islands and the Azores. You can find seamounts lots of places, and most of these, some of the ones I've just listed, are ones that do come off to the surface of the earth. Um, the next one's called a guy out. Guy out? <laughs> like a side out in volleyball? Uh, or guy out. A guy out looks like this. You know what it is? It's a seamount that made it to the surface. And then the wave action flattened this. Choop. There you go. And now it's a flat top. And sometimes they'll even sink a little bit more. 
and he's even sunk further and further. So at one point he was above the ground and of the water, pardon me, and then he sunk. So this is a guy up. We sign these all over the place. And then I think the coolest one maybe is the atoll. Now this is a dead volcano. They're eroded and only the edge remains. It's actually a function of the guy out. The guy out is an underwater volcano. And so what happens is you get the guy out here. But actually it's like the volcano that has a caldera. This looks like a weird cat. Uh, <laughs> and what's happened is you've got a little bit of the land. It's, uh, well, let's take a look. Take a look at this, this, this um, atoll and it's just a ring. It's a ring of a little bit of land, if you can kind of see that, and uh, under, it's, it's risen up because it's, again, one of these guys over here. And then the thing that's really cool about atolls, at least atolls that are uh, in tropical regions, kind of warm water, is that this is one of the biggest places where we see coral reefs. Uh, and uh, the diversity of life that you see in a coral reef, maybe you had a chance to go snorkeling, maybe in Hawaii or some other place like that, and you've seen the coral reefs and the beauty and the majesty. And, and when we see all the colorful fish, it's coral reefs is one of the most amazing places. And there's a lot of concern because many of the coral reefs are dying um, around the world. It's, it's quite a sad thing. And then the last one we want to talk about, I think it is, yeah. And then the last one we want to talk about, I think are pretty awesome too, is the oceanic plateaus. So it turns out that when we look at different parts, take a look at this map right here, is that in this map you can see some different regions around the earth that are plateaus. So basically these are rises, large rises underneath the ocean that are, that are much, much less shallow. And it turns out that some of these were actually continents back in the day that have eroded away. I think one of the cool ones is this one called, um, actually let's just define this first. An elevated portion of the seafloor is flat. Fair enough. Now, one that's fascinating to me, if we look down here, is a place called the 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 Kreligan Plateau. Kerguelen Plateau. It's off the coast of Antarctica. It used to be connected to India and Australia, and it broke away and it sunk. And and if you go down there, you're going to find fossils of animals, like uh, animals like who lived on the earth, uh, terrestrial, not aquatic. And so down there we have a, it, it's a sunken continent. Is, it the, is this the lost continent of Atlantis? Probably not, because this is one of the remotest places on the planet. It's, it, Antarctica, it's cold, all this kind of stuff. Um, it is an amazingly weird place. I just got sort of entraptured as I was, is that a word, entraptured? Entrapted? I was just fascinated by uh, reading all about that Kerrigan Plateau. It's owned, it's owned by uh, the French, uh, and there's just a few islands left, and it's so remote, and just like, you know, 50 people live there for scientific stuff because it's cold, it's bitter, there's no resources. Uh, you know, a fascinating, weird place on the planet, and uh, it used to be a whole continent, so I thought well, that's pretty cool. So maybe it's something you ought to look at to yourself. So oceanic plateaus. So deep ocean basins have all kinds of different features, right? Trenches and abyssal plains. And uh, we've got uh, sea mounts and goyotes. And then the crazy oceanic plateaus. Houston, isn't the ocean fascinating? Isn't it so cool to just think of our world and to see the diversity, frankly, of how God has made it? I think it's just pff, awesome. We'll see you in class.